Good afternoon. My name is Ashley Wolf. Um, I've been an author and an illustrator since 1984. Like many authors and illustrators, the first book I did was basically about myself. But because I, I was the author and illustrator, I got to change all the things that I would have had differently as a child. So instead of growing up in, in the town of Middlebury, I grew up way out in the country and I had to ride a school bus, which is really what I always wanted. Instead of um, living on a hill nowhere near a pond, in this book, I have a pond and it has ducks in it and I can swim in it in the summer and skate on it in the winter. So you can take your own life, you can change little bits around, you can, you can put on a little detail there, sand off something over here, and you can make it into a book and that's how I became an author. Find an idea that, that really grabs you. Um, find one that's possible to do. So. Is it possible to do the research for this? Um, yes. And for illustrators, same thing applies. You have to love it. But this, this is a skill that you have to start practicing um, now and you can never stop. You just have to keep practicing it. And the good thing about it is the more you practice, the, more, the better you're gonna get, the more fun it'll be to draw and paint and create things visually. And the better, the more you'll want to practice and the better you'll get and so on. It's like a circle. I, but I use more things than, than um, I use composition. I use color. Um, if you have an all green, mostly all green scene and there's a spot of red in there, that will focus the reader's attention. If it's mostly dark and there's a light spot that focuses the reader's attention, scale. So I always start Baby Bear by the, at the top of his head. It helps me to anchor the figure in space and create the proportions. And then I draw the rest of his head. Longer arms than you'd expect. A lot of bears, bear, um, stuffed bears have extremely short arms. And yes, that is cute, but bear cubs definitely have longer arms. And then their hind legs, their bodies are kind of long, their hind legs are also longer than we think. And not surprisingly, there are claws on the back legs too. And there I'll give them a little belly. 